okay today we are seeing the topic it is a matrices under that we are seeing it is consistency of system of equations so this is the question very important question and a famous question in the matrices investigate the values of lambda and mu so that the system of equations we are having a three equations first second and third have no solution unique solution and infinite solution so we have to find out the for what value of lambda and mu we have these three things that is no solution unique solution and infinite solution so we start a solution first of all we write down the given system of equation here as it is after that we convert this into the matrix form so for that i collect the coefficients of x y z in one matrix multiplied by it is what x y z okay and then uh, it is equals to the 9 8 and it is mu now to this matrix for our convenience i take this as a it is x and this is b this we have mentioned here and then later on then later on that we are having it is a matrix c we have to form that matrix c that matrix c is augmented matrix which is a combination of a and b so matrix c we have just written the a here and the b and after that we have to apply the row operations and how we have to apply uh, how will apply the row operations we have to make a upper triangular here it is a matrix of the order 3 by 3 we cannot get the upper triangular for this matrix matrix should be the square matrix for the upper triangular so i just escape this last row okay after escaping this one i have this matrix of the order 3 by 3 so isko hum upper triangular mein convert karenge upper triangular mein convert karna matlab this is will be the diagonal diagonal ke niche ke liye humko kya karna padega zero so this three things we make zero so to make this quantity as zero and this quantity as zero i'll make use of this element iska hum use karenge r1 mein jo hai so what operation i should apply here it is i multiply 7 here i multiply 2 here then take a subtraction so that is 2 into r2 minus 7 into r1 that is 2 into r2 minus 7 into r1 this will be zero now isko zero karna hai to directly zero ho jayega ye 2 minus 2 zero means r3 minus r1 so apply this operation on the complete row so we have this then a uh, two quantities as zero and as well as we got the zero here so there is no need to make this zero here already we are having so after applying that operation we get the upper triangular now after getting this upper triangular now we will decide for what value of lambda and mu we have no solution so no solution ke liye what is the condition for the no solution that is rank of coefficient matrix which is a okay and which should not be same as the rank of augmented matrix that is rank of a should not be equals to rank of c for no solution okay because for this the system is inconsistent and there will be no solution so for what value of lambda we are getting that rank of a as 2 so that will decide here lambda equals to 5 if i take so that time rank of a will be 2 is it because number of non zero row will be this 2 that decide the rank so rank of a will be this 2 and now next it is mu minus 9 we are having here and for mu not equals to 9 if i take this will be the non zero quantity and then we, hence we can say that this is the zero already this is the non zero hence we can say that the rank for this complete matrix c it will be 3 so therefore rank of a is 2 rank of c is 3 so hence the ranks are not equal system is inconsistent and there is no solution so we have found out the value of lambda as 5 and mu not equals to 9 for that we are having no solution now similarly we go for that is unique solution for the unique solution the system must be consistent consistent means the rank of a should must be same as the rank of c so and for unique solution that rank should be same as the number of unknown as well so how many number of unknowns we are having x y z it is three uh, number of unknowns so rank should be equals to 3 here so for making the rank as 3 what we will do here okay for making the rank 3 what i will do here i take the lambda not equals to 5 if i take lambda not equals to 5 this will be the non zero quantity then rank of a will be it is what 3 and now i take the mu equals to 9 or mu not equals to 9 that will not change the rank of c because if i say the mu equals to 9 if this is zero but it is a non zero entry so number of non zero row in c that will be 3 still if i take this as a mu not equals to 9 again that rank of c will be it is 3 so i can say that mu may have any value and lambda should not equals to 5 for that we have rank of a is 3 and rank of c is 3 and which is same as the number of unknown and hence we are having a unique solution okay and this two ranks are equal system is consistent and it is same as the number of unknown we have unique solution 
now moving towards the infinite solution infinite solution may the rank should be strictly less than the number of unknown number of unknowns are three so three say less than a rank mother it is it should be two okay so two lani kill him kya karenge i take the lambda equals to five so that rank of a will be it is two and i take the mu equals to nine again this quantity is zero this is zero rank of c is also it is what two so for lambda equals to 5, mu equals to 9, we have the rank as 2 and both are equal, system is consistent and now I say this as R. So rank is less than the number of unknown because we are having the number of unknown as it is what? 3. So N is R is less than N, system is uh, already we have shown that it is consistent and it possesses an infinite solution because R is less than N. So you must uh, need to know that 3 conditions for no solution the rank of a should not be equal to rank of c that is rank of coefficient matrix is not equal to rank of augmented matrix this is the condition for what no solution okay because system will be inconsistent and will have no solution and for unique solution what is the condition that is rank of a should be same as the rank of c and which is same as the number of unknown all the ranks will be equal with equal to the number of unknown within that time system is in system is consistent and we have unique solution and for the infinite solution, the rank is less than the number of unknown. So ranks are rank must be equal. Rank of A must be equal to rank of C. That time system is consistent, and but it should be strictly less than the number of unknown. Okay. So this way we investigate the value of lambda and mu for such questions. Thank you. Is it clear?